Okay, so let's jump into this video and start talking about our closed loop Lambda control we're gonna be finding in our Haltech software. So when we have our wideband wired into our Haltech, we're gonna be using that for monitoring purposes, but we can use that to allow the Haltech to actually alter the fuel delivery to our engine. It's gonna be looking at our target air fuel that we're gonna be programming in a target air fuel table, and then it's gonna be going and adjusting based on what the wideband's actually reading. So it's gonna either have a plus or minus range that can make adjustments in. Now we're gonna have a short-term trim. That's gonna be the immediate reaction to whatever that difference is showing. So if we have our wideband showing leaner than our target, it's gonna go and try to add some fuel. Or if our wideband showing that it's richer than our target, it's gonna to try to take some fuel away. It's gonna do that in an immediate reaction. Now it's also gonna have a long-term effect if we enable this option, and that's gonna be able to go in and learn those immediate short-term changes. So as we drive around, it can populate a long-term table. We can use that to build out our main fuel table. We're gonna be taking a look at how that works in this video. So this is something you absolutely wanna implement when you're tuning with your Haltech. You're gonna to need to have a wideband input anyway to the Haltech, so you might as well take advantage of this feature. It's gonna speed up your tuning process and keep your fuel tuning or your fuel delivery much more consistent at all times of the year, or all kinds of operating conditions. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at using our closed loop Lambda control feature that we're gonna be finding in our Haltech ESP software. So we're gonna be using this closed loop Lambda to do our tuning. It's gonna be giving us a way that can quickly tune and populate our actual VE table, injection time table, or mass airflow table, depending on what we're gonna be tuning and what strategy. We're going to be finding that we also can use it for more long-term control. So once we dial in our fuel table as perfectly as possible, when we step away from the vehicle, we don't have our laptop connected, it can go in and collect data in the background, and we're able to transfer that and update our fuel table even further. This is going to be useful for getting maybe that last 5% correction so we get our volumetric efficiency table or whatever strategy we're tuning in nailed down to perfection. Now, just like an OEM ECU, it's going to have a short and long term, but we're going to be finding in the situation with a Haltech, we can apply it for part throttle and idle conditions and full throttle, so we can do both. We're going to be taking a look at how to implement both strategies in this video. So the very first thing that we need to do to successfully go in and tune a closed loop Lambda control, we need to create a custom page. Now in the last few videos, we created a VE page, we created a starting page, we're gonna go in now and create this actual closed loop page. Now, in order to save ourselves some time, um, we're gonna be going here, right clicking, we can go copy this page. And if we do that, we're gonna be saying that we're gonna use everything in this page, but we're gonna replicate it in a new page. And this is gonna save us a lot of time. Then we're just gonna need to go in and tweak some of the values in here that we find in our display and set it up purely for our closed loop Lambda control. So I'm gonna be typing up here, CL for closed loop Lambda control, or I can say closed loop lambda tuning, doesn't matter. So now we have a new page, and we click on this, it's identical to our starting page. Obviously we wanna change things in here. So the very first thing we're gonna be doing is going up under lambda here, clicking on target, now we've populated our target lambda. So when we click on this window, we're gonna be able to go from starting into closed loop lambda, and this will come up. We don't have to constantly go through our ECU navigator here and grab all these different tables when we wanna look at things. We can focus them in just in this closed loop lambda tuning window. So now we're gonna be going in and tweaking some of the things that we find in this window. They're gonna be relevant just for our closed loop control. So the first thing we're gonna be finding here, we're gonna be changing is right clicking on ignition, angle, select, we're gonna be typing in battery voltage. We wanna see what's going on with that at all times, click okay. Next, move up here to injection one time, select channel, we're gonna be typing in CT 